The PLCS compression coupling encapsulation is an easy repair method to permanently seal leaks on 3 quarter inch to 2 inch Normac and Dresser Style 90 compression couplings on a live pipe without shutdown or bypass. The system is fast, inexpensive, and simple to perform with minimal training. First, the coupling is soap tested for leaks. Then the compression nuts are tightened to completely stop the leak. The work area is cleaned and grit blasted to bare metal and checked for leaks again. The fitting is dried by flashing over with the grit blaster once more. A special primer is applied to promote adhesion and to prevent corrosion. The mold is then fastened to the pipe. The two-part polyurethane sealant is mixed and poured into the mold, encapsulating the coupling. The sealant cures to a tough, flexible synthetic rubber that is permanently adhered to the pipe and coupling. The encapsulated coupling is sealed for a lifetime and will never leak again. The PLCS Series 6 encapsulating sealant is used on millions of successful gas main leak repairs for over 25 years. It is the gold standard encapsulation method for leak sealing having test by Cornell University for the New York Gas Group and British Gas and backed by PLCS's exclusive 10-year warranty. Shown here is what is included within the kit. The two-part PLCS encapsulation sealant, mold with the attached bolts and gaskets, a gasket conversion kit for use on smaller pipe sizes, nuts, gloves, stick, primer, brush, and instructions. At the very start of the installation process, soap test for leaks. It is extremely important that all leaks must be totally stopped by tightening the coupling end nuts. Even a fuzz leak is still at full mains pressure and will cause a failure. If the leak cannot be stopped, PLCS offers a metal mold system that can be used up to 60 PSI. Next, position the bottom of the mold under the coupling and center it. Using the mold as a guide, mark the pipe on both sides with a marker. This will be the area to be grip blasted. Grip blast the entire work area, which includes the pipe and the coupling, down to white metal using a medium copper or coal slag grit in a pressure blast machine. Check the underside with a mirror and flashlight to make sure the bottom is clean. Not shown here, but once completely clean, soap test the coupling again to make sure there is no leak after grit blasting. If there is no leak, dry the fitting by flashing over with the grit blaster once more. If soap and water remain on the work area, it can cause the repair to fail. Apply a thin coat of primer to the cleaned area using a scrubbing motion, and then check the underside with a mirror. Kits come in two standard sizes to fit inch and a quarter and two inch pipe. The inch and a quarter kit can be reduced down to fit three quarter or one inch pipe. The two inch kit can be reduced down to fit inch and a half pipe. To fit the smaller pipe sizes, a set of pre-measured reducing gasket strips are fitted to the end flanges of the mold. To do this, simply choose the correct gasket, peel off the film tape, to expose the adhesive backing, bend backwards to centralize the gasket, and press into place. Be sure to fit all gaskets on both halves of the mold. Position the bottom half of the mold under the coupling and center it. Hold the bottom half of the mold in place with one hand and place the top half over it so the bolts in the bottom pass through the holes in the top. 
Screw a nut onto each outer corner bolt a few threads to hold the mold halves together. Add all the nuts and screw them down a few threads to make sure none are cross-threaded. Tighten the nuts with a 7 16 deep socket and a cordless drill with the torque setting on medium-high. First tighten the two nuts on each side closest to where the mold meets the pipe to hold the mold in place while the other nuts are tightened. Keep the mold mouth at top dead center. When finished, check the foam gaskets around the pipe are smooth with no visible gaps at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position through which the sealant could escape. Now it's time to mix and pour the sealant into the mold. Open both cans, the part A and part B. Scrape any solids from the bottom of the Part B can and mix with the wooden stick. Pour the entire contents of Part B into Part A. To mix, hold the can between your feet so it cannot spin and mix vigorously for one time minute using a jiffy mixer and a 500 RPM geared air drill. Stop the mixer before removing from the can and spin the mixer head inside an empty carton to remove most of the sealant. Remove the cured sealant from the mixer with a knife each morning so it can be reused and it will last for many years. Hold the can about 6 inches above the neck and slowly pour all the sealant in a thin stream into the mold. When the neck is full, attach the cap. At this time, the repair is complete. You may backfill with the mold in place. Tools are also available from PLCS to install these kits through a keyhole excavation.